Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can extract certain parts of a text string. So this is the text string that I'm going to look at in these cells here. And what I want is I want to find URN and then pull off the rest of the figures. So as you can see there, there's the answer. That's the answer I want. I want it to find URN and then show me the rest of it. So what you've got is a mixture of several formulas here. I've got an if error, a write function, a len function, a search function. So I need to just break those down to show you what the main functions do. So this is the search function. So the search function allows you to look for a character and it's not case sensitive. So in this case, URN in cell B3, which is the first cell. And then that's the first position of it. And that returns 14. So that's 14 characters in from the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it comes back with a 14. Now the len function just basically tells you how long that text string is. So that says 35. So that whole string is 35, and then you see the different fig uh, figures going down there. And then the right function allows you to display text from the right. So this is looking at B3, and it wants five characters from the right. Five, uh, four, five, zero, three, zero. Four, five, zero, three, zero. So that's what that's doing. Now, when you put them all together... I've got an if an error there as well. So if there's an error, you want this to just show zero. I'll put that on at the end, but I'll just do the first straightforward um, functions I've just talked about there, search, then, and write to first. When you put them all together, you can actually get it so it just extracts a certain amount of text. So let's have a look. I've got the function there so you can see how it's going to look and what we're going to do. So first off, you start with equals right, because I want it from the right, B3, comma. Then I need to know how many characters it is. So it's the len function for B3. That tells me how many characters it is. Um, so that's the length of it. Now I need it to minus from search. So the search, remember, is just looking for that, um, whatever you put in quotes, in this case, URN. So let's just type search and we're looking for URN. So whatever you're looking for, you have to put in quotes. So URN and the search function is not case sensitive. So it doesn't matter whether I put it in capitals or not. Still looking at B3. Now, after I close a bracket on the B3, I need to do a plus one because otherwise the 14th character is the U uh, and I want it to just put a one on it. In fact, I won't put a one on it. I'll just show you what happens. I'll close the bracket first and then tick that. So it just it's knocked off the U. So I want it to show me the U. So that's why I've got a, before I close the right bracket there, I need to do a plus one. So it gives me that extra character and then that'll show me the U and that gives it like so. So if I pull that down, it does it for every one, URN, and then some of them have got more characters than others, but it's because it's using the len function. So that works. Now why, why have I got if error on there? Because if one of these doesn't have URN, so let's just get rid of URN from this one. When I click away from that, you're going to get a value coming up. So what I need to do is if error in front of all of that. So it stops that um, coming down like so. So this one has got a zero. You can see it's got a zero because that has got the if error function on it. So I'll put the if error function on this one. So you go right to the top again. If error, open the bracket for that. Come right to the end, do a comma, and then zero, so or whatever you want it to put. Zero, close the brackets, click the tick, 
shouldn't affect the formula but when I pull that down should get rid of that value and put the zero there the same as that one so it's the search function that's coming back with values you can see there look because it's looking for URN and it isn't there so it's just coming back with a what what oops so that's why you have to put if error on it so that's just an example of how you can extract text from a string there's lots of different ways you can do that you can pull text out of the middle of a string from the right from the left whichever way you want but you're using the len and the search function to facilitate that and if you put the if error on it gets rid of any value messages that might come up so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one